Let me ask you a question. If a tree falls in my backyard and you're not around to hear it, did I really cut it down? Stick around and find out. All right guys, so behind me, you see a couple of trees. The one in the middle, I don't know what it is, but it's doing pretty well. The two on the outside, I've been told, were cherry trees. They're not anymore. So they gotta come down. So what do you need to undertake such a task? You need several things. I'm gonna use two saws for this project. First, I'm gonna use an electric pole saw. This extends to 15 feet and it can get the high limbs before I take down the rest of the tree. And then I'm gonna take down the bulk of the tree with a gas powered chainsaw. Now a couple things before you start with either the electric or the gas powered saw that you have to keep in mind. With any small engine, just like your lawnmower, your weed trimmer, whatever, check it over. Has it got a good spark plug? Do you have good fresh oil? That's important, fresh oil. Gas, fresh fuel. Check the bar and the chain. The chain, it goes the same with the electric as it does with this gas. You should be able to pull it off from the bar, but only very little. It's tight on there. It's good to go. Same thing goes with the electric saw. Is the chain sharp? Is it tight on the bar, but still has a little flexibility in it? Fresh oil. And you always want to make sure with both of your saws that you have good fresh bar and chain oil. It's important to keep the thing lubricated. This saw, it tells me if I'm cutting for more than about 25 or 30 minutes, check the oil. So you always want to keep on top of the oil. Use good, good quality chain and bar oil. Some manufacturers say you can use five weight motor oil. And in a pinch, I've even used cooking oil. So, but just make sure you uh, read your instructions and follow along with those. By no means is this a safety video, because if it were, it would be a bad one. However, you gotta make sure when you're using chainsaws, you take precautions. First and foremost, some kind of eye protection. If all you have is glasses, wear glasses. If all you have is goggles, wear goggles. I recommend, and what I'm gonna wear, is a full face shield. Because there's stuff flying around, and it's just better protection. Hearing protection of some sort, Chainsaw is a pretty loud motor, so you got to take care with that. A good set of leather gloves. A good set of steel-toed boots. I have long pants on. Blue jeans aren't going to stop a chainsaw. This is more just from the chips flying off from the saw to protect my legs. Realistically, same thing. I have a sleeveless shirt on. Not the smartest idea, but realistically, regular material is not going to do much for a chainsaw. You really should be wearing leathers, but I don't have leathers. I'm going to be cutting stuff down from this tree. And stuff's going to be falling down from the sky. So get yourself a helmet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the pole saw, cut some stuff off the top to make bringing the tree down easier. So I start from as far to the top of the tree that I can safely reach with the pole saw. I'm cutting the limbs as much as I can to reduce the bulk of the tree and make it a little less top heavy. I'm taking a minute to survey what's left of the tree and try to figure out which way the pieces are gonna fall. This is very important because once I start using the chainsaw, I no longer have the extended reach of the pole saw to keep me out of harm's way. Once I've decided on the game plan with the chainsaw, I still take care to try to keep one eye on the saw and the other eye on the section I'm cutting. Even though I've tried to anticipate where the piece will fall, there's no guarantee it's going to end up that way. I always try to make sure I have an escape route just in case the tree limb falls in an unexpected direction. Fortunately, things go pretty much as I had hoped on this project and I got both these dead trees on the ground with very little trouble. So there you have it. It's down. Now comes the fun part, cutting it up. So with a little care and the right tools, you can take a tree down. But I can't emphasize enough if you have the slightest bit of hesitation about taking down a tree, call somebody to do it. This was easy for me. It was in the middle of my backyard. There was no structures around, no power lines around. The only really thing I had a chance to damage was that tree in the middle. Um, so you can do it. Just remember, safety, right safety gear. Take your time and you can take down trees. So, you know, leave me a comment below. Let me know of your experience with taking down trees and cutting them up. I'm out, guys. A lot more work to do. If you haven't already, 
please click that subscribe to the Homecraft Chronicles. As you can see, I got all kind of projects going on around here and I'd love to share them all with you. So once you subscribe, you'll never miss out on anything that I'm doing. So until I see you next time, take care of yourself and your house. I'll see you later.